Paris Hilton coming up. Back to this morning's top story. Meanwhile, Hillary Clinton agreeing to turn over her private email server used during her tenure as Secretary of State after months of pressure. Her decision coming just hours after federal investigators found two of the four classified emails discovered on her home server contained classified material. Joining us now is Fox News senior judicial analyst, Judge Andrew Napolitano. Judge, great to see you. Thanks so much for joining us. How serious is this? I think that Mrs. Clinton's legal problems are grave, G-R-A-V-E, as, wow. as a result of this. There are three categories of classified information under the federal system. Top secret, secret, confidential. Top secret means if revealed, it is likely to cause grave Word, that word is in the statute, wow. damage to national security. Secret means if revealed, it's likely to cause serious damage to national security. Confidential means if revealed, it's likely to cause some damage to national security. When the federal judge presiding over the Freedom of Information Act request against the State Department ordered the State Department to begin releasing her emails, the first release was to the Inspector General of the State Department and the Inspector General of the Intelligence Community. They randomly sampled 40 of her 55,000 emails. Okay. Among the 40, they found four that were classified. Among the four, they found two that were top, top secret, secret, the highest classification we have. Maria, General Petraeus was indicted and convicted for keeping in a desk drawer in his house loose leaves containing confidential information, the lowest wow. category we have. Mrs. Clinton now has apparently diverted to her own server outside of a government approved venue the highest category of classified secrets we have called top secret. Unbelievable. Will this mean that she is going to face the similar fate or worse than General Petraeus or will the rules be different because well, of Hillary Clinton? Okay, you just ran an interesting clip of Donald Trump with Sean Hannity. Right. And I think that Donald Trump, as usual, is capturing the views of very many people. She's gonna get away with it because the prosecutors are Democrats and she's a Democrat. I suggest to you it's a little bit more subtle than that. There are many, many Democrats in the Justice Department. There are also many, many career Justice Department prosecutors who are totally devoted to the rule of law and devoid of politics. Mm -hmm. This is now so serious, they cannot let this go, and they must treat her as they would treat anybody else who wrongfully diverted classified secrets out of a government. And venue. let's not forget, this is President Obama's Justice Department, and the word is is that he's basically, I mean, his administration is leaking this stuff to the New York Times, etc. It's inconceivable that she could be prosecuted without his consent. But she certainly is going to be investigated with the same level of professionalism as anybody else would be investigated who did this. Look, she took 33,000 of her emails and destroyed them on her own. No one has seen those 33,000 except her own people. If they're still on the server, the FBI now has those. They have to be on the server, though, right, Judge? According to the people with whom I spoke yeah. as recently as three, as three hours ago, they're still on the server, and the FBI's experts can extract them from the server. Is it conceivable that she goes and has an untouched campaign for president? Uh, while this is all happening. Only if the Justice Department is uh, highly political and doesn't do its job. But I suggest to you they are giving every indication of doing their job properly. First thing they did was to go to her lawyer, David Kendall, and say, did she give you a thumb drive with all of her emails? Yeah. Well, you don't have a security clearance. How can you have that thumb drive? You want it? Yeah. Here it is. He gave wow. it to them. Then they went to her and said, where's the server? We got to have it. She's knew that if she resisted, it would be top of the fold, front page, and she'd lose the resistance, so she coughed it up. This so is... theoretically, right now, the FBI has everything it needs to determine the level of classified uh, information, how it was diverted, what she knew, and when she knew it. This story is getting worse and bigger for her as she tries to gain traction. Jill and Ken, observations here. I just wonder, from your perspective, what you think is going through Vice President Joe Biden's mind right now after that test balloon was floated a couple of weeks ago go about him potentially running, plus the fact that he has a very close relationship with the president. And then there have been reports, relatively unconfirmed, that the Clintons and the Obamas are not exactly always on the same page. Okay, well, they if, are you, not. if you add to that, <laughs> but if you add to that the latest uh, respected poll in New Hampshire showing Bernie Sanders leading Mrs. Clinton, right. and if you add to that the following, now I'm going to break some news. A friend of mine called me yesterday and said he saw Al Gore on a treadmill. <laughs> <laughs> Come on!
break some news. Are you suggesting? Are you suggesting Al Gore? is a likely uh, candidate I'm to suge- come. I'm suggesting that the people around him are asking him to consider it. Uh-huh. So you got Joe Biden out there, that's looming, and then possibly now Al Gore. Possibly also the present Secretary of State, who of course ran against uh, President Bush in 2004. That's right, John Kerry also uh, out there. Judge, great analysis as always. We'll be watching. Pleasure. Thanks so much. We'll see you later in the day on Fox Business Network and uh, Fox News Channel, Judge Napolitano. Meanwhile, the other-